how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to Crash Play Gaming. I'm your host of Crash Play Gaming, Crash. And today we got a little bit of surfing Pikachu for you to check out from the Celebration set. Then I also showed a just recent uh, pack opening for that where I got all these surfing Pikachus to be able to make this deck. But before we get into the deck list, just a few quick plugs here. Follow me down there on Twitter and Twitch. And while you're down there or looking at me and other channels, go ahead and subscribe, like the channel. We've been growing a little steadily here, but the more we grow, the more I'm motivated to bring out more videos and things like that. And the more it keeps me doing YouTube. So yeah, I would really appreciate it. Thank you to all my current subscribers. I really appreciate you guys subscribing, liking the videos and watching. It means a lot to me. You have no idea. But let's go ahead and get into the deck list and see what's going on with these surfing Pikachu. Here is the star of the deck, Surfing Pikachu VMAX with the Max Surfer attack. It does 160 damage for 3 water energy, and it does 30 damage to each of our opponent's bench Pokemon. This attack isn't the best, but we are showcasing this because it comes from the Celebration set, and it's a Surfing Pikachu. How could you not want to show this guy off? It's an electric Pokemon that uses water energies? Poof, crazy. Anyways, let's look at the normal surfing pikachu v has surf for the same amount of energies but does 10 damage less 150 but it's just surf and it's the cute surfing pikachu that we know from days past to help this out we have the inteleon engine of course we have one copy of swing could v i think you can probably put two copies in here if you would like to maybe even three just to just accounts to your liking because we can be is a good attacker the fleet footed ability allows you to draw a card which is great but I also have one copy of Snorlax to help in the early game kind of set up these Pikachus because three energy is a lot. And you can also use the Frost Moth engine. I considered doing that one as well, but I liked the Inteleon engine a little bit better because I can snipe the bench and help uh, spread the damage a lot quicker. So with that said, to help Pikachu get attacking, we have, of course, Melanie, which allows us to accelerate energy just a little quicker you need those water energies in the discard that's why we're playing 10 water energies so you need to discard them with research or quick ball something like that and we're also playing one copy of Raihan kind of acts like a Melanie in a sense uh, but yeah telescopic sites to help spread the damage but yeah this is deck pretty simple pretty easy to play let's go ahead and get into some videos of the matches that I have recorded for you guys we started the recording a little late here, but we are playing up against, oh boy, a Rowlet. Ain't that a bummer? Well, I don't need this telescopic sight. I don't know if I am able... Well, I do play the Inteleons. So they can definitely attack. So, we'll get out of Sobble. Probably gonna research this hand away. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's research this hand away, so I'll just grab out from another Sobble. Too bad I'm missing out on an energy drop. But, yeah, let's research it away. I have another V-Max, I'm sure. Hope I get an energy. That's good. Another surfing Pikachu you probably don't need. So I'll attach the air balloon there. And... Let's keep it like that. Pass the turn. Maybe I should have attached to the Sobbles. I don't know, we'll see what our opponent does. Here comes the Decidueye. No denying them a Decidueye. I definitely need to get a Water Energy into the discard to activate my Melanie. It doesn't seem like I'll be able to do that here anytime soon. Well no, I could Shady Dailings for Capacious Bucket. And then for Melanie plus the V Max, depending on also what I draw. So it is possible. It is possible to get an attack off with the Surfing Pikachu. Well, we're gonna get Marnie, so never mind. Just kidding. They're probably looking for a switch now. Now I'm just stuck. <laughs> Fantastic. Would have been nice. Next turn, I could have wiped out the Rowlet and both of those Sobbles. Oh man, what a bummer. What a bummer. Can we get a Snorlax? A nice old Snorlax. Let's 
go ahead and retreat into the Snorlax. I can use the Gormandai's, put him in Air Balloon so that it takes one energy to retreat him, which would be perfect. Here we go. This is looking a little bit better. Hopefully they don't evolve their bench Pokemon. There's a quick shooting Inteleon, so that doesn't have them involved. They're going to Bird Keeper into Decidueye, and then... Capture Energy on the Relic, and just attack. <sighs> Evil Incense. And that's going to get them everything they need. Well, the opportunity is there. There's a Level Ball to get themselves another Sobble or Dartrix. There's a Drizzle. Alrighty. Well. Here comes another Marnie, so there goes my hand that I could have possibly attacked with next turn. And they're going to start quick shooting my Surfing Pikachu, and I am in a whole lot of trouble. There's a Water Energy, which is nice. Though I do have to attach it to the Snorlax and then get a Melanie to retreat. So I think I can go ahead and do that. Let's retreat into the VMAX. Go for Drizzle here to grab ourselves the Melanie. There you are. Go ahead and Quick Ball again for another Drizzle. And I'm going to pull out an Evil Incense for next turn. Which would be nice for me to have, so that I can evolve into the Inteleons. Let's go ahead and Melanie here. Another Surfing Pikachu. I don't know if I even want to play another Surfing Pikachu. I think I'm going to focus on my Inteleons after this. And Max Surfer, we take out that Rowlet, thankfully. Oh no! We only do 30 damage! I'm dumb! I'm so dumb, I thought we did 60 to the bench. Whoops. Just kidding. We get Marnied. There goes our Inteleon. Hopefully we Marnie into some good stuff. We don't. We get one Evil Incense, which is okay, I guess. Don't have the rare candy, they do. Bummer. Start putting energy on the freaking Inteleon here on the bench. And we will continue to snipe out these, uh, these Inteleons and Drizzles. Alrighty. We did top deck on Marnie, which is nice. Let's go ahead and Evil Incense. Get the quick shooting Inteleon going. And I don't think I can get a knockout on this turn for anybody. So I'm just going to quick shooting the active Decidueye. And then let's Marnie. Hopefully I can get into another quick shooting Inteleon. That would be great. I did, and I also got onto a Quick Ball and a Boss's Orders, which will be nice for another turn in the future. Um, let's see, do I Quick Ball away? I think I Quick Ball away the Evil Incense because I don't need it yet. There's a Sobble, we have another Drizzile. We don't have another Inteleon though, but that's okay. And we Max Surfer. Dealing more damage to the Inteleon lines on the bench. I'm pretty sure they play scoop up net, so they can definitely scoop up their Drizziles. There's a Bird Keeper, gonna switch, that's fine. Switching Decidueyes is fine with me. 110 damage means that I can definitely knock them out with an Inteleon. And so they're gonna keep targeting my Inteleons because they definitely need to. But I am gonna boss up one of their Inteleons anyway and take more prizes this turn, I think. Yeah. That's definitely going to happen. Cool, so let's go ahead and quick shooting this guy. That one's at 100, this one's at 90. So I'll just quick shooting the other one as well. Put an energy on this Inteleon, boss up their other Inteleon. And Max Surf, knocking out all the water Pokemon, ironically. There we go. Four prizes and all that's left are Decidueyes. Two water energies off the prize. There's another Sobble and a Marnie. Okay, I'm cool with that. 
So now I'm just going to retreat this Pokemon. Well, it's going to get knocked out, actually. Just kidding. But I should be able to trade Inteleon for Decidueye, Inteleon for Decidueye in the coming turns here. This is an interesting matchup. That one's at 90. That's cool. I do get a Raihan, which is nice. But I feel like I should Marnie because they have a ginormous hit. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. We'll Marnie. We have an energy in our hand, a Melanie, and the Drizzile, which is great. I'm going to keep my hand the way it is. Let's quick shooting the active. That one's at 80. This one is now at 70, which is within knockout range. We will quick shooting the bench. And we will now start to trade our stage 2 Pokemon. And it looks like we have this one in the bag. Thanks to that quadruple knockout from Surfing Pikachu VMAX. That's what it's supposed to do. I'm surprised our opponent didn't play any scoop up nets. I'm really shocked at that. I would assume you play them because of that situation because I have to knock out these Decidueyes with my Inteleons. Our opponent bosses up the Sobble, which is fine. Um, he's probably hoping I get stuck maybe, but I'm not. I have an energy in my hand. And that will do it. I'm just going to toy with my opponent, quick shooting him. Put him down to 20 anyway. And our opponent concedes. I was... Okay, playing another match. Unfortunately, we're going second. Would have been nice to go first. But actually, we have a Quick Ball and a Melanie and an Air Balloon. So maybe it's not so bad that we're going second here. We'll be able to power up our Surfing Pikachu pretty quickly. It doesn't look like they have a Pokemon down, and we did get an Evo Incense. So let's quick ball away this energy here and grab ourselves a Suicune V. Just to have one. We can Melanie onto the Surfing Pikachu. Fortunately, we didn't draw into another um, energy. So let's retreat into Suicune. Let's do a Fleet Foot. Let's see if we can get an energy here. We get a Drizzle, which is fine. That gives me a Capacious Bucket for next turn. And we have the Shading Dealings in Teleon as well, which will give me another Air Balloon and um, whatever else I need for the following turn. So yeah, we're, we're looking in a good spot, actually, I think. I, actually, honestly, looking at this hand, I can get a Quick Ball as well. So we're looking okay. Our opponent is playing Zigzagoons and Drizziles. This Drizzle is probably going to go for their main attacker. There's the Quick Ball. They quick Ball away at Boss's Orders. And they get out of Salamence V. So we'll see how this goes. Scoop up Net. Okay, that way they can use Drizzle one more time. So actually, I might be able to attack next turn. Let's see, if I get a Capacious Bucket and a Quick Ball, that gives me Melanie. But then I don't have a Retreat with Suicune. But I could, I could actually just attack with Suicune, to be honest. Which I might do. Capacious Bucket plus Quick Ball plus Melanie means an attack with Suicune, which might be just fine. Let's go ahead and evolve into the VMAX here. I'm going to drizzle for the Capacious Bucket and the Quick Ball in a second. There's the Capacious Bucket. Let's go ahead and go for a Drizzile and we can get a Quick Ball with that. There's a Quick Ball. Here goes the Capacious Bucket, getting out two Water Energies, Quick Balling one of those away. Uh, um, another Serpent Pikachu seems great. Let's go ahead and play that one down. This puts max damage for our Suicune here. And the Air Balloon. So that if our Suicune doesn't get knocked out, we can retreat it next turn. Let's go ahead and Blizzard Rondo. Get rid of this Zigzagoon in the active for 220 damage. 
Unfortunately, I didn't have a boss's orders to take out that Solomon. And now I'm kind of glad I didn't go first because initially I would have gone for the Snorlax, but hey, it was priced. <laughs> So yeah, let's see, Sonic doubles Texas 40 damage to my Pokemon on the bench, that's fine. They need a way to power up their max wings attack. And they're going to scoop up the Zigzagoon. And they already have a quick shooting Inteleon down. They're going to go ahead and Marnie us, that's fine with me. There goes my air balloon though, but Suicune can manually retreat if I needed it to. There's a Drizzile and a Melanie. Telescopic Sight. Is this just a Salamence deck that targets V's on the bench? No wonder. Because he did put the other energy on Salamence. So yeah, that's interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and then. Let's attach there. Let's Drizzile. Yes, we will go for the Evil Incense. This will grab me the Shitty Dealings in Pelion. Which I can then go for another Evil Incense and an Air Balloon. Which seems fine. Play that. Get out another Inteleon. I can play the Air Balloon here. I already played an Energy, didn't I? Onto my Serpent to Max. Bummer. We go quick shooting over here to the Sobble. And then we can Professor's Research. And play the Telescopic Sight over here. Throw away these level balls. If I get Marnie, I don't need them to go back into the deck. We put it to draw a card, and then we can Blizzard Rondo for a good amount of damage. And next turn, we can go ahead and go into our Surfing Pikachu VMAX and start dealing some spread damage everywhere. And we should be well away to win the game. So we can definitely knock out the VMAX. Unless, now if they do play, if we don't get Martied and they do play another bench Pokemon, I will definitely boss his orders that Salamence on the bench. Or maybe I'll boss orders that Inteleon and knock him out with the VMAX. It's an option. So Sonic double does 40 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon and does 70 to the bench Vs. So, gotta be careful with this. Is another Drizzle. You might go for a Tool Scrapper. Cheryl. That's going to be a little bit annoying. <laughs> a little bit annoying? That's going to be a really annoying. So all I need is one energy. Wow. Cheryl is going to be the bane of my existence for this deck. It literally wipes out all the damage that we do. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a tough one. Definitely going to... Well, I have to Marty next turn, that's for sure. This Surfing Pikachu V is already almost knocked out, too. This is really bad. That's Marty. Give this guy a little bit more help here. Let's quick shooting onto that Drizzile. We will draw an extra card before we retreat with Suicune. And we will go into our VMAX and start spreading some bench damage. Oh my goodness, we hit for weakness. Oh my goodness, I didn't see that. Oh my goodness, we hit for weakness. We hit for weakness. They can't knock out my VMAX in the active. I have a switch in hand. 
we don't get Marnie, they have to boss if they want to get me stuck with Galarmine. And they can't Marnie if they boss. But if they Marnie first, that'll, that'll do it. Evo Incense, Cheryl, that's fine. You can heal off all the damage in the world. It's not going to save your Salamence because I hit the weakness. Let's see, he does 40 damage plus 20. Yeah, I don't I don't see a way to knock me out. Powerful energy does 60 total if he hits the active. 80, 100. I mean, yeah, he can't knock out anything. Oh man. If I had if I just paid attention to the cards and had known I hit for weakness. I would have been in such despair previously, but now I'm okay. Now everything's okay. Now I'm chilling. Now I'm chilling. Sonic Double is gonna swing at my two V Maxes. I don't care. Doesn't matter. I'm not even gonna play any cards. That's it. <laughs> Woo! What a good win! Oh, I'm so excited. So there you have it. That was Surfing Pikachu V Max. Really cool deck, really fun to play sometimes, but hey, it's not the best deck, of course. I mean, that three energy cost really slows the deck down a little bit. You probably could make this deck a little bit better. Just play around with the support Pokemon, and it would help uh, make Surfing Pikachu VMAX a little bit more viable. But don't expect to go onto the ladder and beat those top tier decks, because I don't think this is uh, capable of doing that. But it is capable of having fun, and capable of being Decidueye, as you saw, and capable of taking out Salamence because of weakness, which got me super excited. But that was Surfing Pikachu VMAX. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow me on the links down below here, Crash Blade Gaming for Twitter, Twitch, Crash Blade Gaming the same. Go ahead and follow me there. I do a couple live streams here and there. But until next time, we'll see you back on Crash Blade Gaming.